Hey folks, Narcus here from Countrywood Smoke and I'm going to show you how to do some cold smoked salmon. Okay, so I have a nice fillet side of uh, salmon here. Uh, I think it's Norwegian farm salmon but uh, it's nice quality. I can see there's not too much fat in it. It looks lovely, lovely fillet of salmon. So I'm just going to get some coarse sea salt and I'm going to put more on the thick end. go and a little bit less on the thinner end but lots more on the thick end here we go and I'm gonna balance that with a little bit of brown sugar so this is just um, demerara sugar here so roughly looking for 50 50 salt sugar a little bit less on the tail end again there here we go and a little bit underneath go so that's going to go in the fridge overnight and it's going to draw all the moisture out of the salmon and it's going to start to cure it and then I'll clean that off and then smoke it in cold smoker so looking forward to a nice bit of cold smoked salmon for Christmas okay cheers okay so we cured the uh, salmon fillet which I have here so I used the 50 50 uh, salt and sugar and that's been curing for uh, a day and then I rinsed the salt and sugar off and patted it dry with a, a kitchen towel and then left it in the fridge just overnight again to form a pellicle and a pellicle is like a sticky surface on here sticky sort of salty surface that the smoke will adhere to so that's got a nice I can feel there just tapping on it it's a lovely little pellicle so I'm gonna pop this um, to cold smoke in the smoker so like that I'm also going to cold smoke a few other things today so I have a block of cheddar it's just very cheap um, I prefer medium or mild cheddar uh, I find the the taste of like vintage cheddar is an extra strong to be too strong and I, I don't like I want to taste the smoke not the super strong cheese and I've also got some uh, mozzarella here that I'm going to pop in the smoker as well. So a couple of balls of mozzarella. So I'm going to pop it in this smoker here, just on the top there. So these are going to be cold smoked, so we don't need any heat at all, because otherwise it will cook all of this and melt. So how do we cold smoke? It's something I get asked quite a lot. And basically you're looking for a heat source that's very small, just enough to, to get the, uh, the, the wood dust started and just to smoulder away. If it gets too hot, then all of that lovely uh, food in there will cook and melt and be ruined. So we're looking for a nice little ember, basically, just to smoke away for a long time, for 10 or 12 hours, and just to give a lovely smoky flavour without actually cooking the food. Okay, so there's a few different ways of doing this. My trusted and uh, go-to bit of kit is a Pro-Q cold smoke generator. It's a fantastic bit of kit, it's about 30 quid usually, and you start the fire at this end and it goes all the way around, sort of 10 hours it'll take. So you just pop your wood dust in here. So I have some lovely uh, silver birch here, uh, and it's a nice, nice dust and it's from Smokewood Shack and it's a wonderful uh, new silver birch cold smoke dust that I'm really looking forward to trying. Uh, you can get lots of different flavours of wood um, and they have a surprising effect. A lot of people don't seem to realise that they have a big effect but you know something like oaks quite a strong quite a strong smoke so I always like a nice gentle smoke for a long time and the silver birch should be fantastic. So yeah, you just pop it in there, like that, in the tray, and then you light a uh, tea light, and you pop the tea light under the corner like that, and it gets going, and that will smoulder away, 
and then I'll pop that just underneath there. Uh, there's a few other ways of doing it. The sieve, my friend Marcus Hender, he put me onto this. It's a great cheap way of coming up with one of these. It's it's maybe not as uh, not as reliable, and uh, yeah, it's it's a pretty good way of doing it though. And Marcus swears by it. He's a good friend of mine. So you you simply get a cheap sieve. It's a couple of quid at the most. Push up the middle, so you've got like a donut, and then you can. As you can see it's a little bit messier. You can put your wood chips around the edge like, edge like that and then light fire to one end and it'll smoke around. I reckon that's probably a good six, six to eight hours worth of smoke. Uh, it's not as compressed as that so yeah it will uh, probably burn a bit quicker and a bit more smoke and a bit more heat. So I'm looking because this is quite a small unit I'm gonna smoke in here very gently. As you can see that started to smoke there. there. Uh, and uh, yeah this will be ready in a couple of minutes I can smell already that uh, silver birch smoke is fantastic so what else can you use um, I've seen these I've been sent them recently uh, so they're called smoke genies instant light smoke genies for smoked food and uh, they're little hardwood compressed blocks like this and I'll put a photo on so you can see them a bit clearer but you just stand them like that on end end on end like this so these ones are oak I think they come in different wood flavours as well there's a beech one there as well so just end to end and then you light one end of this I don't know how successful it's going to be because it's quite windy today but you just light one end oh it's gone out too windy so you light one end and then these burn away they last 30 minutes each and then 30 minutes so there you've got like um, an hour and a half of smoke so uh, yeah you, you know if you're looking for uh, an 8 to 10 hour smoke you're probably going to use most of this uh, this pack here so um, yeah it's uh, it's a good way for somebody who's not used to smoking to, to start and it's something that these guys uh, gem smokers recommend for using in there their smoker so yeah I, I'm, I'm going for this uh, Pro-Q Pro cold smoke generator here it's a great bit of kit and that's started lovely there so you can see literally just a nice little trickle of smoke so you want a little trickle of smoke for a long time I normally give it a little extra start And then pop it in here and then you pop the lid on you don't want it on too tight because you want some of the smoke to escape but that will be fine and I will give that probably overnight uh, about 10 12 hours maybe um, and then I will see how it looks tomorrow okay and then once you smoked it you're looking to rest it for a little bit just to allow that smoke to mellow and penetrate you're looking for a nice mellow gentle smoke rather than something too harsh so yeah that will smoke away now for, for uh, overnight while it's a bit colder so you in you're ideally looking for lower temperatures than, uh, than 20 20 degrees C uh, ideally under 10 if you can get it but uh, yeah for, for overnight certainly this time of year that's not going to be a problem so uh, we'll see how it looks in the morning okay cheers hey guys uh, next morning here so let's have a look and see how we got on with this smoked salmon and smoked cheeses that I've been cold smoking uh, so in this gem smoker uh, I used a Pro-Q cold smoke generator and hopefully oh there we go it's uh, it's gone out but we've had probably a good six seven hours of um of uh, cold smoke there so i could get this going again and give it a bit more but actually i'm quite happy with that so uh, i don't want to go too strong with the silver birch at first because it's a cold smoking wood that i haven't tried before so um, i'm quite happy with that but yeah it's had a good good burn so eventually gone out so maybe i should have uh dried the the wood chips a little bit more or um given them a bit more in the microwave um, just to dry them out but yeah we'll, we'll see how this looks and uh, give it a go so I have in here 
some beautiful smoked foods. So we had the smoked side of salmon that I cured and we had a block of uh, like a mild cheddar that I cured and we have some uh, mozzarella balls that I smoked. So I'm going to take those off first. They've got a nice colour. They've got slightly yellow. And they smell wonderful. So the best way of uh, improving the flavour of these is for them to um, to be vac packed up and to sit in the fridge for um, a few days just for the, the smoke flavour to mellow a little bit. That cheddar's got a nice colour and this salmon smells and looks beautiful so I'm pretty happy with that so I'm gonna looks nicely cured it's nice it's not too solid it's got a little bit of movement but it's uh, it's nice and firm as well so I'm gonna what I'll do is uh, let this sit again um, and uh, for the cure to for the, sorry for the smoke to develop and um, I'll vac pack it up and this will be our Christmas smoked salmon and uh, probably a bit left for New Year if, uh, if, well, if we haven't eaten it all but I'm just going to have a little taste now and um, see how it has come out see how that, that uh, silver birch smoke has performed so I'm just going to slice a little bit this is um, the Aoshen uh, slicer that I've been working on 14 inches it's the Miho slicer and unlike a lot of uh, blades this length it's relatively stiff so it's not super flexible so I'm looking forward to cutting this um, salmon with this and seeing how it goes it was designed for brisket but I think it's going to be a wonderful salmon slicer because it's razor sharp so let's just have a few slices off here and see oh that cuts beautifully there we go I'm gonna have a little taster of this see how it is Mm, that's really good. You can get the sweetness and um, slight nuttiness from the silver birch. Really good smoke. It's going to um, develop once this is in the fridge and, um, and matured for a little bit. But that tastes like fantastic smoked salmon. Really happy with that. Mm. Yeah, that's going to go great for our um, Christmas morning scrambled eggs and smoked salmon. So I'm going to have a little taste of these uh, cheeses just to see how they've come out. So the cheddar first, a smoky end to it. There we go, you can see the colour difference there. That's nicely smoked that cheddar. Just try a little bit. Oh that's good. I like using a nice mild cheddar because you can taste the smoke then and not so much of the cheese. And that works really well. That's fantastic. Mm and try a little slice of the mozzarella mm, that's really good that's going to taste fantastic on a pizza i think it dries it out a little bit when you smoke um mozzarella so it actually makes it much better for cooking on a pizza so uh, i'm looking forward to um to cooking up uh, some nice pizzas with with this mozzarella so there we have it it's all good and um yeah i'm gonna uh, get back packing this lot and uh, we'll be enjoying that for christmas so hope all's good with you and catch you later if you like this video and want to subscribe there's a subscribe button just in the bottom corner there so i'd be grateful if you could subscribe and tell people about us thank you cheers